iag.me. Seriously social. Socially awesome. Hello, it's Ian Anderson Gray from Seriously Social at iag.me. I wanted to share with you today a tool called Edgar, which I've been using for the past two months. I have to say I've been really impressed with Edgar. It's a tool that saves or potentially saves a huge amount of time for marketers, particularly content marketers, which let's face it, we all are if we're into marketing these days. It's a tool that allows you to build up a library of all your content and then allows you to schedule that to all your social channels. It's great in the way that you can build up a library of your content, but then categorize it. So you've got lots of different categories for different types of content. Instead of me gibbering on about it, I thought the best thing to do would be to give you a little quick walkthrough. This is to accompany my blog post, which is how to become a content marketing Jedi with Edgar. So the first thing to note is it is currently um, by invitation only. So you will need to click on the get your invitation button, although they are pretty quick at getting back to you. So hopefully you'll get an invitation within a couple of days or a week at the most. So I'm going to log in. You can see here uh, the queue is for two weeks and I've got 58 posts that are scheduled. On the left here, you can filter by a specific category. So all my posts are in particular category. I've got my blog posts there, social facts. Uh, what else have I got? Questions. These are categories that I've made up myself and I've added lots of different types of content to each of those. So for example, if I click on my blog posts here on the left, I can filter by those categories and I can just view all my blog posts which are being posted out over the coming weeks. Um, also, if you click on library at the top here, you can see the specific content items. So these are ones not necessarily being posted in the future. These are ones that are just stored in, in the database, in the library. So I can see here, uh, I've got 20 in the questions category. I've got 24 in the blog posts. Um, I've not done very well with the other categories, to be honest, because I've just been testing out the tool. But hopefully, over time, I would be building up these. I'll be adding some to my photos and inspirational and funny categories. It's also important to note that each piece of category can be posted to one network or you can post it to a number of different networks. So you can see this top one here is being posted to my Facebook page, uh, LinkedIn profile and Twitter account. But this one down here is only being posted to my Twitter account. So it's important to realize that you each piece of content can be posted to a number of different networks or just one network. And down here, you can filter by specific accounts. So I've got 43 uh, that have been posted to LinkedIn. I've got two to my Facebook page. Uh, no, it's a Facebook. Yeah, that's a Facebook page. And then 40 to another Facebook page there. The important, another important bit is the scheduling tool. So I'll just click on that and show you uh, the different schedules you can set up. So you can set up a different schedule scheduling system for each social profile you've got here. So here's my uh, Seriously Social Facebook page and I'm posting one post each day or Monday to Friday. Uh, that's select performers. I've got one on a Tuesday and one on a Friday. Different categories you'll see. On a Tuesday I've got my blog posts and on a Friday I've got social facts. LinkedIn I'm being a little bit more regular. You've got two on a Monday two on a Tuesday, one on a Wednesday, one on a Thursday. I'm moving down here for my Twitter account. I'm publishing quite a bit more regularly. So three, four a day, five on a Thursday. So depending on your business and your strategy, you can set up a scheduling um, system that's right for you. Uh, but the great thing about this is you can choose what time of day, what day of the week and what category of post you want to be posting at that particular day. It's very easy to add a new one. You just click on add time slot, choose the time you want, and then choose the category. Moving up to the top, uh, categories. This is one of the first things you want to do when you create um, an Edgar account. You'll want to kind of look at the categories and see if you want to edit them or add your own. Edgar gives you quite a few categories to get started with, but they're completely um, optional. You can change them. Uh, so I've added my own. I've added social facts, for example, um, and you can add some more there. 
a social account. So you can add, uh, and depending on the plan that you're on, you can add either 10, I think it is, or 25 or 100. And you can add Facebook, that's uh, pages, and profiles and groups, Twitter, LinkedIn profiles and pages. Um, and at the moment, they don't um, have Google Plus, unfortunately, but that hopefully is coming. So there we go. Um, it's a fantastic tool. It really saves a huge amount of time. It is fantastic in the way that it cycles through all of your content. So once you get to the end of a queue, it then goes back to the beginning and it cycles through it all again. That's probably one of the most useful features about Edgar. So for example, with evergreen content, my evergreen posts on my blog, I can add all of those to Edgar. It can post through all of those or schedule through all of those in one go. And once it gets to the end, it will then go back to the beginning. Um, so it's such a huge time saver. So have a look at the post on my blog at iag.me, how to become a content marketing Jedi with Edgar. I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Thank you.